away, beast. We have pressing business here. Onro, I believe this beast has come to petition the council. <laughs> that creature? Fey law does not apply to such as they. You realize we make the laws here, Onoril? Step up to the podium, petitioner. I, at least, am curious what you have to say. Hail, stranger. I am Savon, speaker of the One True King's Council. State your nature and business for the record, please. Your nature, yes. What are you, exactly? You're not one of the... Well, what do they call themselves? The Dran, are you? Then why, pray tell, should we waste our time with you? This is a Fey Council, and we have more imperative matters than to play guide to outsiders. for more stimulating distraction. If that is all you have to say, Petitioner, then please step aside. We have quite enough troubles to occupy our time. You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fey have far more important concerns than you before us. M uh, hold a moment, Onoril. Perhaps this stranger could be of use to us. The Fey presently live in fear and uncertainty, stranger. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by one of those seated before you. But we know not which. As an independent party, you might find clarity where we have failed. Will you help us? Hold. I do not accept. This is a foreigner. Hardly more than a mute beast. The law does not allow such to conduct investigations or judgments on our behalf. Have you ever considered, Onoril, that our job is to make the law? Both arguments are heard and deemed irrelevant. We do not ask them to make judgment, only to aid in an investigation that we have voluntarily foregone. The law supports this. A great tragedy, stranger. For eons, the Fey and this council have faithfully served the one true king. But alas, his rule has been curtailed. The imposter, Feylin or Feyrin or whatever they call themselves now, placed the king in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken. The king was attacked in his own chambers, behind this very door. The imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council. But, of course... We all have our alibis, as you can imagine. None of us were here. This has been proven many times. If you can find any evidence tying one of us to this tragedy or to the imposter, then Fey justice might be done. It won't be enough, Savan. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yet, it will be a step. And a necessary one toward restoring order among the Fey. It means you are not Fey, and your life is easily forfeit. Please, Oniril. Stranger, we will discuss the conditions of your accusation if and when you choose to make one. Fast does nothing. Peace, Oneril. The law is clear on this point, as you well know. I will answer your question, stranger. With a traitor among us, trust has shattered. If any of us were to produce evidence at this stage, it would be suspect by all. And rightly so. Either of you would love any excuse to remove me from the Council. And you do not wish to hold half the Council's power yourself, Oneril? You cannot pretend it isn't true. Regardless, stranger, you are not from this world. Either of these worlds. 
So any evidence you bring would be free from the suspicions which we have cast upon ourselves. Precisely my point. This foreigner may have any number of reasons for accusing any one of us. Which is why, if and when evidence is produced, we alone will pronounce the final judgment. And if that evidence has been falsified? Tainted? How do I know one of you has not paid this interloper to act on your behalf? Unreal, only you assume that everyone is as unscrupulous as yourself. Not everyone seeks power at any cost. Yeah. Very well. I will judge it when I see it. I trust no one. But I trust the two of you less than this foreigner. We now know that the imposter approached each one of us at some point, whispering promises of freedom and power, trying to poison our minds against the one true king. <sighs> he only said what we wanted to hear. Pity one of us listened. Can you blame them, though? The imposter called out important truths. Is that an admission of guilt, Niel? If you would allow me to finish. I was saying he called out important truths that we must take to heart, despite the poison that obviously accompanied them. We would do well to address the flaws raised by the imposter. And I find it difficult to cast blame on any who thought there might be a smoother path towards doing so. And yet that path has led to ruin. We have merely exchanged one tyrant for another. Indeed. But our feelings on the outcome are irrelevant. This council must be absolved of guilt if we are ever to restore order to the Fae. Alas, we do not know. There is no blood, no wound that we can see. Not that we were able to investigate the scene fully. At your request, Onoriel. I cannot trust either of you backstabbers nor anyone you might call to serve us. Ugh. They were, indeed. And the sentiment holds. Regardless, it is unknown even what could harm the king. For it is said that no mortal weapon can kill him. And many have tried. The king has ruled over the Fey as long as anyone can recall. He has always been a guiding force, both in our world and our lives. Some believed he was too much of a guiding force mm, more than some yet look at us now the king sleeps and our world is spun into chaos indeed it would seem his life is more entwined with our wealth than anyone knew imagine what would have happened if he had been killed How could we have been so blind? The genius of this foreigner, who is so much more clever than all of the Fae together. Please, Onoril. Their question is academic curiosity. The simple answer, stranger, is magic of a kind more powerful than any here have yet seen. We suspect the imposter's conspiracy went even deeper than this council alone. Which is why we must identify which of you is the conspirator here. They are a monster. They care nothing for the welfare of the Fae. Nor those of us who serve the Fae. Nor for the law. On this we all agree. The imposter's plan should never have been carried out. So it would seem. We cannot function like this, stranger. If we cannot root out the traitor, then this council remains impotent. Good. Be gone.
you're back. Tread carefully now, stranger. For Faelor is strict and... If you accuse one of us, you must have evidence. New evidence to support your claim. It is death, foreigner. At least for you. Are you prepared to make an accusation according to our laws? Such is our law. Don't like it? Be gone. I don't know whether I should root for the guilty... To oh? You are aware I am the head of this council, are you not? This is a heavy accusation. What proof do you bring? That simple. Savan, is it true? It is. I knew it. I am appalled that you would cast aside the law for that... that tyrant. It was for the law that I helped him. The king was a tyrant too, flouting the law at every opportunity and using us as his shield. I did not foresee that the imposter would be the same, if not worse. I submit myself to your judgment. We will see that they go easy on you. We will not, Nael. Whatever the outcome or her motivations, Savan has committed treason. If the law is to have any power at all, we must carry it out to the letter. Onaril is right. You have performed your task sufficiently, stranger. Though I fear for what this council has now become. Come now, Nael. We have found common ground before. <laughs> Not enough. But we must move forward. Stranger, take this in thanks for your service to the Fae. I should not be grateful for the death of any Fae.
Well, at least that's over. Yeah. Oh. 